Love all. Sir. We bring you coverage of the tennis in Calcutta between India and Brazil for the right to challenge Australia's Davis Cup tenancy. Amid mounting excitement, the final crucial match between Krishnan and Koch. After a pulsating struggle, Krishnan is down two sets to one as the day's play ends. The resumption. All seems lost as Krishnan is down two games to five. Then a tremendous comeback. A fantastic run of nine games gives Krishnan the fourth set, a lead in the fifth, and the clincher. From down under, victory, and on to Melbourne. Did you see our old players in action and did you receive any help from them? When I started playing, I had of course heard of names such as Mohammed Slim, Gauss Mohammed, Sumant Misra and yourself and others. In my earlier years, I played a lot of tennis with Naresh Kumar and later we developed into a good doubles team. Indian News Review brings you television coverage of Davis Cup matches between India and Great Britain at Manchester. In the doubles, Kumar and Krishnan beat the British pair Motram and Paish. Well, I think he's one of the best doubles player in the world. As you know, we have played quite a lot together. We played in 1966 when we got to the Davis Cup Challenge round. We won a very important match against Brazil. And then he went on to win the, the doubles match in the Challenge round. What I like to point out in doubles is that he's very cool and he keeps his head. And that makes him a very good doubles player. And he encourages his partner a lot. And that helps his partner, which has helped me a lot. Well, I've been in the same team with Christian since 1957. And as you know, he's been a wonderful player. He's had a lot of experience and last few years he hasn't been able to play any matches because of his business and I think we are very fortunate to have him as a captain to advise us because as you know he's so experienced he's been ranked number three in the world and he's played so many matches it's very useful because he can advise us in crucial moments and I think it's very good that he's captain he helps us a lot I was disappointed Krish to see you occupy the captain's chair at Bangalore and Pune why did you do so? Well, uh, it's a Davis Cup match and I'm not fighting here for individual honours and the country comes first. Both Jaydeep and Ranjit have been playing very well and they're in good shape. They've been taking part in a lot of tournaments and I feel they have better chance of winning the matches for the country. So I decided to step down and uh, help them from outside. <laughs> Behind them, we have a bunch of promising youngsters. Vijay Amritraj, Anand Amritraj from Madras, Shashi Menon, Gaurav Misra. But frankly speaking, Jimmy, I am not satisfied. We should have many more. How is it that in a large country like ours, we have been able to produce only a few outstanding players? Very true, Jimmy. A great pity, isn't it? A lot of physical training is necessary. And this has to be planned properly. You have to catch them young, give them proper training, nurse them, and provide them with all facilities. You see, Players are worried about their future and security and I think this must be taken care of. You will then see the difference.
there is no shortcut to success. You can't make a tennis player overnight. I would say it takes anything from 5 years to 10 years. And during this period, lot of hard work is necessary. Lot of dedicated hard work. It's not enough uh, if you just play the game. A lot depends on physical and mental condition. And that is developed only by rigorous training all the time. Tell me, Krish, how would you like going through your tennis playing days once again? Oh no, not from the beginning. You see, I had to work very hard those days and learn the game the hard way. And I used to feel terribly lonely. But I will start from the point of my marriage. I will marry my Lalita again, take her along with me, play Davis Cup and other tournaments for the country. Tell me, has marriage affected your tennis? Oh, certainly not. But even if it had, I wouldn't be talking about it here in the interest of peace at home. But the fact remains that my wife has been very cooperative and understanding. In fact, all my best tennis results were achieved after our marriage. You know, results such as getting to the same finals at Wimbledon, Davis Cup Challenge round, and my wife takes credit for the same. You want to know something about my husband? Yes, I will tell you. Because I have been moving with him for the last 10 years. And of course, we fight now and then. But uh, now it's very interesting to know his character because when he's in the tennis court, he's very serious and concentrating and he wants to win. But when he comes out, he's very jovial, you know, and he likes to at least, especially he likes to crack joke at me and laughs and he likes, not loves to play with children. We go about, we go to movies and we are just like any other families living. <laughs> You are very correct, you know, handsome fellow and uh, leading tennis player and have gone around the world so many times. So many girls are after him. <laughs> That's why I travel a lot with him, you know. I want to be by his side so that he doesn't become a bad fellow. But luckily so far I haven't received any bad reports him, so I'm... I'm safe so far. <laughs> What has this game of tennis done for you, Krish? Oh, many things. Many wonderful things. I had opportunities to travel, meet people of various countries with different customs and habits. And I think this has been my best education. But above all, I learned a very useful thing. Taking the rough with the smooth, defeat with a smile, and this is of immense help to me in my life. Knowing full well that you have defeated almost all world-renowned players at one time or other, why were you unable to clinch the Wimbledon title, Krish? I'm glad you're asking me this question. And uh, I would like to answer this because uh, I would like the younger generation of tennis players to know about it and learn from it. You see, the game has become very fast and uh, in post four years. And now everything depends on a good service. The whole game revolves around a good service. And I would even say that uh, without a strong service, you cannot win Wimbledon title. And uh, you see, in my case, twice I went close to winning it in 1960 and 61. But I got beaten by two left-handers, left -handers, Fraser and then Lever. Both of them served well and I could not match them in the department. So here is a piece of advice to the youngsters. Well, one has to learn to serve well. Without a good service, we can forget about the game. You can't make a mark in this game. Indian ace Ramanathan Krishnan hits a long stream of winners to Bob Hewitt of Australia in the men's singles final of the Asian Lawn Tennis Championships played in Calcutta. Krishnan's impeccable control and penetrating serves put him right on top at the start of the match. He wins the first two sets with ease, 6-2, 6-1. The third set is more closely fought, but Krishnan holds his own. Taking the last two games, he wraps up the match to become the Asian tennis champion for the third year running. 